So before we get in the course, I want to share with you the structure of it. In the first part, we're going to see the basics, and that's going to be about 30 minutes. We'll see the basics one with some practice exercise, and then we'll see a bit more basics with another practice exercise. Overall, 30 minutes of video, lots of learning on your end. The second part is about programming, and we'll see how to use protocol buffers with your favorite language. We'll learn about protocol C compilation, and we'll do some hands-on exercise with Java, and over time, I'll add other languages such as Python and Go and so on. Finally, in the advanced part, which is also 30 minutes, you're going to be more theoretical learning, but still really good learning. There's going to be something around data evolution, which is how you can make your protocol buffers evolve over time, and that's not well documented, so this is a very exciting section, and also some advanced concepts on protocol buffers that I'm really excited to share with you as well. Overall, this course is quite nicely done. You'll have some theory and hands-on experience alike, so it gets ready. Now the course review. Udemy will ask you for a course review shortly after the introduction. So I ask you not to rate the course until you're ready to do so because reviews mean a lot to me. The programming part comes in part two, so be patient or you can be impatient and skip straight to it, but I really recommend you go over the basics at first with me. Overall reviews, they're so important for me and I really want to have a review at the end of this course or when you're ready. So, you know, if you feel like this course is great, please give me a review. Now the objectives. I want you to know how to write simple and complex protofiles. I want you to have practice exercises to confirm the learnings. And I want you to leverage this very complicated concept of imports and packages appropriately. We will generate code using Proto-C in any language and we'll have code in Python, Java, with protocol buffers over time, okay? We'll understand how data evolution works with protocol buffers because I think that's one of the most important objectives you should have in mind. And we'll learn about advanced concepts with protocol buffers. Overall, this is a really exciting course and really long and complete. The prerequisites is that I need you to know one programming language. You can't get into this course and not know about programming, otherwise you're gonna be lost. Protocol buffers overall is a pretty advanced data format. If you have experience with formats such as XML or JSON or even CSV, that is preferred, okay? This is a course on data, and if you don't know XML or JSON, try to get a course on those before coming to this course. Overall, I want you to have lots of openness and willingness to learn something new. And this course is made of short lectures to usually find content. So if you find a lecture to be one minute, just so you know, that's expected. So who are you and who is this course for? You may be a developer who wants to understand how to write protofiles and create code to write protofile, uh, protocol buffer data. Or you may be an architect, so much more additioning power to just understand how protocol buffers is used and works across an organization and validate that it's the good thing for your solution architecture. Finally, about me. I'm Stefan, and I'll be your instructor for this class. I work as an IT consultant and solutions architect, and I work in big data and APIs quite a lot. And I love data formats. I love Avro and I love protocol buffers. I think they're extremely good protocol formats. So really excited to share this with you. You can find me on different social medias. You can find me on GitHub, LinkedIn, Medium, and Twitter. Please connect with me. I'll be more than happy to hear about you. All right, hope you're ready for this course. Let's get started.